We have uh, Union Minister of Earth Sciences and BJP candidate from Arunachal West, Mr. Kiran Rijiju, with us on the broadcast here. Thank you so much, sir, for speaking uh, to NDTV. Sir, the first phase polling has ended. Prime Minister Modi has set a target of Charso Par for the NDA. What is the sense that's coming from the ground? What's the sense you're getting on the ground? Uh, well, uh, uh, from the eastern side, from Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, and other northeastern states, it's a well uh, echoing the slogan raised by Prime Minister Charso Par. We are going to give a very substantial contribution in the NDS number. Although this Charso Par, Prime Minister has uh, echoed this slogan, but the slogan actually came from the people. So it's the mood of the people across the country. So this slogan is resonating with everyone. And I'm happy that from Arunachal Pradesh, uh, we are going to win both the Lok Sabha MP seats. And uh, we are going to sweep the assembly election. Uh, because it's a simultaneous poll. Out of 60 seats for the assembly seats, uh, BJP is going to sweep. Uh, so it's a very positive voting today. I voted in my native village far in the border area and I've just come down. And in Upper Assam also across Northeast, I think uh, the mood is uh, just like it's el as elsewhere in the country. So we are very happy okay. that Northeastern region is substantially making good contributions because in last 10 years, Prime Minister Modiji has led the development for the northeastern region and we are seeing this uh, positive uh, you know work of modi ji uh, from the ground people are uh, paying back with this thank you note by voting for bjp okay well the bjp of course has made big gains in the recent past in northeast as well now you are a three time uh, sitting mp from arunachal west lok sabha seat You've defeated your rival with a huge margin in 2019. In 2014, Lok Sabha polls as well. Now you're seeking a fourth term from this seat. How hopeful are you, sir? Well, this time, I think I will also uh, break my previous records. In 2019, I made the uh, highest margin ever and defeated my other rivals, uh, mainly the Congress uh, former Chief Minister Navam Tuki, he is contesting again against me, along with some uh, six more candidates. Hmm. But um, the ground report which I have received so far seems to be um, improving my past records. So I am looking for some something around 75% plus. Uh, okay. It could be possibly one of the highest margin in the country. So I am very hopeful that, uh, uh, as in my case, uh, other constituencies are also going to have a very landslide victory for the BJP candidates. And in Northeastern, some of the areas, uh, we have uh, NDA candidates. So both BJP and NDA candidates, hmm. we are going to perform very well. Okay, so the BJP or the NDA, if I may say, of course, is looking to increase its tally in the Northeast. From 18 seats to many BJP leaders are saying the tally will go to at least 22. Uh, you, you think yes. it will further consolidate the BJP's position in the Northeast? Yeah, I think uh, in Assam last time Congress won three seats. Uh, this election in 2024, I don't think Congress will open its accounts. Uh, that makes our tally going further up. So we have only 25 Lok Sabha seats. I wish Northeastern region has more seats so mm. that we could have contributed more. Hmm. But we have only 25 Lok Sabha seats and we will strike best ever result this time. Okay. So Mr. Rijiju, if I may ask uh, about the BJP's hopes for the southern states, well, for the BJP to reach the goal of 370 plus seats or for NDA's char so par mission, southern states would be crucial too. Now, Union Home Minister Amisha, uh, while speaking to NDTV, has said that Prime Minister Modi's popularity will translate into more votes and seats in southern India. Uh, with that, do you see the BJP becoming a pan-India party? BJP's seat tally also increasing uh, in the southern states. Well, uh, Tamil Nadu and Kerala, of course, it is hoping to open its account there. 
Well, I see uh, a big gain in South India. If you remember, Tripura and West Bengal, BJP was zero just a few years back. In Tripura, mm -hmm. BJP could not even win uh, a corporation election. But we swept in 2019. And uh, you just see, uh, you know, it's all BJP. In a similar way, in West Bengal, BJP had no MP, no MLA. Uh, in fact, uh, till 2014, we didn't have a single MP in West Bengal, uh, except Darjeeling. So 2014, we got two seats in West Bengal, Asansol and Darjeeling. In 2019, we won 18. Hmm. So but Tamil Nadu has never been zero for us. In fact, we had won many seats in the past, six seats in 1998, like that. So I feel uh, Prime Minister Modiji's personal drive in the southern part of India has made a huge impact and you all are going to see a, a surprising election results, especially from Tamil Nadu and Kerala. Okay. So, Karnataka has been always um, good for BJP and this time we are going to have major gains in uh, Telangana. I am also going to Telangana day after, then I am going to West Bengal for election campaign hmm. and uh, I could very well sense the ground situation. Hmm. So Telangana, Tamil Nadu, uh, Kerala, these are going to be major gain only because of Prime Minister Modi's popularity and his, his uh, you know, connect with uh, uh, grassroots people. He is uh, connecting okay. with every section of the society in the southern part of India. So it's no more a North India party. BJP is now very strong in eastern part. Uh, like uh, Urissa, West Bengal and Northeast, BJP is already dominating. Southern part of India also BJP going to have a major gains. Hmm. North India, West India, we all already dominated. So BJP is truly a pan-India national party whose presence is right there from Ladakh to Kanyakumari, from Gujarat to Arunachal Pradesh to Andaman Nicobar. So BJP is going to have the best ever performance in 2024 election. Okay. Uh, what would you say uh, for the Congress Party? Well, the Congress Party, of course, has their hopes high after their assembly poll win in uh, Telangana. The Congress is saying there is no space for the BJP in southern states. Mr. Chudamram, we've sp spoken to just a while back. He said that the India bloc is going to sweep all seats in Tamil Nadu and the BJP has no space. Don't, please don't trust Chidambaram's words. Please don't trust Rahul Gandhi's words. We know in 2014 what Chidambaram had said that uh, he is swore by God that uh, their UPA is coming for the third time, but they were wiped out. So uh, you will see the result very soon. Uh, Telangana result was, uh, uh, you know, it was a local uh, particular situation where Congress party got the benefit of the anti-incumbency of the TRS. So, and Karnataka also very localized factor, but you will see Lok Sabha result will be completely different. Hmm. So, uh, Rahul Gandhi and his people are having a daydreaming. You know, if, if Congress is saying that, um, you know, they are going to revive, it's, a, it's like a, you know, completely misunderstanding of the ground situation. As long as Rahul Gandhi is there as their leader, Hmm. We know the fate of the Congress Party. I don't want to talk much about Congress Party because people have rejected them. They don't have leadership. They don't have any vision. So Congress is today a rather less, uh, you know, completely directionless party. Okay. So people are looking for a stable and a strong government under the leadership of Modi ji. Hmm. Especially if you see the international context. Today, India is one of the most stable country be it uh, from economy point of view, be it the uh, social, be it the uh, military, be everything, India's stature is rising under the leadership of Modi ji. So hmm. uh, every, everybody in India wants to see Prime Minister Modi as a uh, uh, Prime Minister for the third term. All right, sir. Uh, all right, sir. Thank you so much for uh, speaking to NDTV. Well, the results will be out on June 4th, of course, and uh, we'll have to wait and watch uh, uh, as you've been saying, BJP will definitely make big gains this time around as well. Uh, if that happens, the results will tell, of course. Thank you so much, sir, for speaking to us. Thank you. Thank you very much.